Well, the U.S. is desperately trying to revive the stalled Middle East peace talks by enticing Israel to extend its construction mor moratorium in occupied Palestinian territories. Washington's put 20 stealth fighter jets worth $3 billion on the table and a pledge to fight any international resolutions against Israel. In exchange, it wants Israel to halt construction in the West Bank for three months with a U.S. promise not to ask it to prolong it any further. Palestinians are criticizing the plan, saying the proposed freeze will not apply to East Jerusalem. The recent round of U.S. brokered peace talks became stuck three weeks ago after they began. And that was uh, after Israel reaffirmed its commitment to continue building settlements in Palestinian areas. U.S. efforts to bring peace to the Middle East are foundering again. The sticking point is Israel's refusal to stop building settlements in the West Bank. The U.S. says it's given up trying to convince Israel to change its mind. And it's now trying to find a new way to get the talks going again. Middle East correspondent Ben Knight reports. An admission of defeat or a tactical retreat? Whichever the case, the American decision to back off the pressure on Israel has been welcome news to Jewish settlers. Oh, hi, Rebecca. How are you? How am I? I'll tell you how I am. Oh, come on. You're not still angry with me, are you? Angry? Have you any idea what a fool you made out of me? I was only joking, for God's sake. And don't say for God's sake. Okay, for Pete's sake. I'm sick and tired of you and your wise-ass comments. I've had enough. Look, can't you just calm down? I was a bit drunk, okay? You should try it sometime. Might stop you seeing life as some sort of fucking argument. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Okay, so you don't. That's great. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It's not. Oh, Jesus Christ, Rebecca. Okay, that's it. It's over. I hate you. What do you mean it's over? Why do you always say that every time we have a little fight? This ain't no little fight, and I want the house. You want the house? What the fuck are you talking about? It's my house. It was. What do you mean it was? Jesus Christ, Rebecca, this ain't fucking Israel. You don't just move in and take over. Well, the Holocaust, I may not be here. And my parents were the servant in the Holocaust, and everyone died, and it was terrible. You weren't in the fucking Holocaust, Rebecca. If you were, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I could watch shit TV like any normal person. That's all you do anyway, you boring asshole. I okay, hate you. okay, okay, that's enough. I'll speak to you when you land on planet Earth. I'm gonna fucking rip you apart, go getter. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll see you in court. I lose some fucking weight. You start to look like a fucking suicide bomber, and that's just too weird to think about. What did you say? Oh, shit. Fuck. Wise man sitting in his armor, looking down, counting all the people looking up to him. Wise man saying there's nothing going wrong if you want to make a living any way that you can. How about the president kissing all the residents? A pity about the pain of a black man. He's got a little dream I never want to see, looking with the vision that a blind man can see them run. They're passing everyone They haven't got time to see where they are going wrong London town, they got a lady with a crown In the USA, they got a dead man Ain't no crime when they do it all the time And they haven't got to worry about a policeman Where is all the money? It's gone again Had to give it to the friends of the big one and the people get in trouble when they're living in the rubble Eating all the rubbish that the little bit can See them run They're passing everyone It happens too fast to see where they are going wrong If it wasn't 
full of memories We wouldn't have an enemy And nobody would have to be a Christian Children always crying Cause mum and dad are lying Giving them tomorrow in a garbage can Isn't it incredible The food is all inedible Pretty soon they'll have to sell us oxygen When all of the time They tell us everything is fine And everybody seems to go along Hi, Brad. Hey, Oscar, how you doing? I was just having a really nice dream. Oh, was I in it? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. Are you alone? Um, uh, no, no. Have you seen the news? What's happened now? The fucking Israelis have refused to stop settlement building on Palestinian land in the West Bank and the Obama administration have given up trying to stop them, man. Fucking Obama even tried to bribe them with 20 F-35 stealth fighters. Just to stop them building for three months. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, that's corruption, Oscar. We gotta do something. Those assholes are breaking international law. And? What do you mean, and? Can't you see, Oscar? Israel sees itself above international law, for God's sake. Exactly. It is. It's not. It is, Brad. It's fucking not. Brad, just stop it, will you? Calm down. Listen. Oh, God, I don't want to talk about this. I was having such a nice time. Israel is a Jewish state. They have waited hundreds of Fuck it, thousands of years for their bloody homeland. They've suffered oppression, genocide, and all sorts of shit. They've been, they're a race of people that's just been hated for centuries. Don't you think they should wonder why? Yeah, good point. Those bastards invented credit, Oscar. That's why the Muslims hate them so much. They fucking created capitalism and got us where we are right now in big, big trouble. Oh. For God's sake, Brad. So it's all the Jews' fault, is it? Oh, sorry, Oscar. Am I being any semantic Semitic. Oh, excuse me. Do you know what the mayor of Jerusalem said about the Jewish settlements contravening international law? It is written in the Bible that the whole of Israel is the land of the Jews and the Bible overrules any law. Can you believe that? Yes. And you accept that? You have to with that sort of discussion, Brad. What would you do? Well, declare Israel as a rogue state in contravention of international law, invade it, occupy it, and change the government. That's pretty normal, huh? Not gonna happen, Brad. So how's things going with Rebecca? Yeah, 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 great. We're really connected at the moment. Anyway, don't change the subject. So you patch things up then? Oh, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Remarkable woman. What do you mean? You can tell when Rebecca has an orgasm, she drops her nail file. I think they were your words at dinner the other night, Brad. I was drunk, okay? Well, that's okay then. She knows I was joking, for God's sake. Many a true word is spoken in jest, Brad.
Who are you today, fucking Shakespeare? Get some sleep, Brad. You've got to get some sleep. I can't sleep, Oscar. I'm too fucking angry. Who with? Rebecca? No, Israel. Listen, Brad. Being angry with a country is a bit extreme. Just be angry with Rebecca. It's a lot easier to deal with, believe me. You think so? It feels kind of the same to me. I'm fucking sick of it, Oscar. Makes me wonder what this live thing's all about. I mean, what is it, huh? It's all so fucking crazy. Oh, well. You were born, you die, and life is a bit in between, I suppose. <laughs> the Dalai Lama, right? That's the sort of thing you say when you ain't had a childhood. I wish the fucking Jews saw it that way. Good night, Brad. I've got to get back to my dream, okay? Oh, oh. Okay, Oscar. Hey, listen, Oscar. Uh, do you think I can come over? I'm having a bad day. Please? Okay. Oh, shit, thanks, Oscar. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.